yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day Now we on road, came from Yo, what is good, y'all? And welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. Now, as y'all can see by the title and the thumbnail, um, I want to say yesterday, I went ahead and I put on my Instagram, um, I put up, like, the little questions thing and, you know, told the guys on the Instagram fam that, you know, we were doing a Q&A on the channel today for the video. Um, so I asked you guys to go ahead and drop some questions. Now, I ain't even going to cap. That story post got over 300 views, and we got, like, three questions. So, <laughs> this video is not going to be that long. Um, and on top of that, not only is it not going to be that long, um, you feel me? It's probably going to be, like, one of the only... Uh, you know Q and A's on the channel for a while as you guys know if you've been a part of the J.I. squad for a minute I don't really do Q and A's just because you know what I'm saying I really don't be asking questions like that my IG is the rattle can I got some uh, You know some extra touch-up paint for the red wheels if any time I have like an issue or something like that I can just touch them up, but um anyway uh, back to the video, man. So, yeah, it's your boy, J.I., man. Make sure you guys go tap in with me on IG. All of the, you know what I'm saying, channel updates, whatever's new is always nine times out of ten uh, revealed on Instagram before it hits YouTube. So, if you haven't already, make sure you go follow your boy on Instagram. We just hit 6K. Again, thank you guys so much for 6K. Super stoked, and I can't wait to hit 10, 20, 30, 100k a mil you feel me so with that being said y'all let's go ahead and jump straight into these instagram questions man at number one and i'm even gonna lie this question kind of goes um it's kind of a question that i've been asked a lot so i know a lot of you guys are wondering the question is from too slow 50 um and he's asking mustang or camaro Honestly, bro, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm gonna keep it a bean with y'all, man. If I had to, if it, if it, you know what I'm saying, if it came down to it and I really, really had to choose, I'll be honest, bro, I'm gonna go Camaro. And I know some of y'all just got triggered by that, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, bro. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I've had three of these cars, bro. I've had three of these cars. And you know, it's definitely a fluke. It could be a fluke. It could be just, you know, one incident, whoop de whoop, whatever the case may be. But if you're new to the channel, back in December, um, so four months prior to December, like in uh, September, in September, I ended up selling my fifth gen Camaro Mamba and buying a 2016 Mustang GT six-speed manual um, Reaper and I ain't gonna lie that car was cool um, One of the things that I love about Mustangs is the top end power the top end power on a 5.0 is just ridiculous That's literally where that car thrives. You feel me is at the top end now for you know Camaros the power is Usually at the bottom end and then once you get to the top end it doesn't pull as aggressive so that was one thing that the Mustang had over Camaros for sure, but in full, like, you know what I'm saying, honesty, overall, Camaros have the better interior, Camaros sound better, um, Mustangs are super easy to modify, 
You know what I'm saying? Parts for Mustangs are just hella cheap. You know, and it is, it is what it is. That's just how it is, bro. Those parts are super cheap. You can get a Paxton Supercharger for $6,000. $6,000 on a Camaro is like a cam job. And, like, that's not even... That's like if you go, you know, with a smaller cam, you don't even go stage four and up. Because, you know, with that, you would definitely need a stall converter. And with that, you know what I'm saying, it would definitely be more expensive. Um, I'm sorry if you guys are hearing any wind noise um, from that vent over there. The mic is literally hovering above the AC vent. So, I do apologize for that. But, um, yeah, man, if I had to pick... At the end of the day, as y'all can see, I didn't hop in another Mustang. I hopped in another Mero. So my choice, I'm sorry, Camaro, bro. It is what it is. My ultimate dream car is a ZL1 Camaro. So it's like I can't even sit here and cap with y'all. <laughs> the next question comes from Trent Five Tree. What's good, gang? You know what I'm saying? One of the Misfit Mafias. You feel me? Um, my boy said, when you come into the truck side, Question mark, laughing, nervous, uh, smile. Bro, what the f Bro! Bro! I know y'all just seen that dude in the neon shirt. Bro, bro, I'm on freaking West Timer right now, which is a four lane street. A four lane main street, bro, in Houston. Westheimer. If you're a Houstonian, you know about Westheimer, bro. And this dude literally just was walking across the street, bro. It was a car next to me, in front of me type. If it wasn't for them slamming on their brakes, I mean, obviously I would have seen them because it's daytime. But still, though, like, what? Bugging, bro. Bugging. Anyway, my boy Trent asked, when am I coming to the truck side? So, I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all, man. I'm going to keep it a bean. This is a real good question because I actually want a truck. I've actually wanted a truck for some time now. I ain't even going to cap. I wanted a truck uh, back before I even bought Mamba. Uh, I really wanted to get a truck. That way, I'd be able to get a trailer and trailer Mamba or whatever VA I had at the time to the drag strip, you know what I'm saying, and make my passes and then load it back up and, you know what I'm saying, take it back to the crib. I definitely would love to have a truck as like the daily driver, um, you know what I'm saying, because at the end of the day, the trucks do come in handy, bro. Like, I can fit parts in the car, you feel me? Um, like, for example, when I was on my way over to Manny's shop so that we could put the headers, the E85, and um, the spark plugs and the spark plug wires and all of that on the car. I literally had this joint. God. Anyway, y'all. Uh, I literally had this joint filled to the brim. I had the seats folded down. I was able to fit everything in there. I think I still have a picture on my phone. So I'll go ahead and put it up on the screen right now. So you guys can see it. But yeah, man. I was able to fit stuff in the car, but at the end of the day, it's just that. It's still a car. It's not a truck, and it would definitely be easier to transport my parts and, and, and stuff like that for the car and the truck and have a daily, you know, driver that, I ain't gonna lie, to definitely hit the pockets on gas, but any car right now is hitting the pockets on gas, so it, it is what it is, you feel me? The truck would definitely be the daily. I wouldn't have to put as many miles on the Camaros, and we'd be chilling. So... Yes, I will be getting the truck eventually. Um, I kind of already know what truck I want. I'm going to keep it a buck. I really want like a 2015, if I'm not mistaken, 2015 and up or up, uh, you know what I'm saying, Silverado. I definitely do want one of them Silverado things, man, you know. And it would definitely be dope to have the truck be camped while pulling the cam to Camaro. That would be crazy. I can't even lie. That would definitely be crazy, bro. Now on to our next and final question, man. Now this one actually comes from Chicago Lane Changers, man. If y'all don't know Chicago Lane Changers, you feel me? The majority of the J.I. squad is in Houston and around that area. I don't really have that much love out there in Chicago. At least I didn't think until now. Um, you know what I'm saying? But my boy Moogie over there from Chicago Lane Changes, man. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the YouTube channel, man. Go show my boy some love. Um, he has a six-speed. 
Camaro 1LE. So, you know what I'm saying? If you like the 10-speed life and you are interested in the manual life and whatnot, man, make sure you guys go tap in with my boy. Got some great content over there. He is kind of actually doing the opposite build that I'm doing. I'm doing a drag strip build, and he's doing like a circuit build. You feel me? So, I definitely want to get into circuit driving for sure. I would definitely love to, you know, make a couple pass, not passes, but do a couple laps and see what the car is capable of. Because again, that's what the 1LE is built for. But um, I'm not really pressed on getting into it. So, like I say, if you guys want to see some of that content, make sure you guys go tap in with my boy. But my boy's question reads, and I knew this was coming. What made you aim for the 10 speed and not the 6 speed? With the eyes going, <laughs> looking at the question. Okay, bro, this is a really good question. This is a very, very good question, and I'm so happy that you asked me because I'm so tired of either reading a DM that literally asks the same question and replying to it and then having to reply to that same DM multiple times from different people because this is a question I get asked all the time. Why did I go 10 speed instead of getting a manual? As you guys know, I definitely love driving the manual um uh reaper when i had him you know what i'm saying it was definitely fun it was dope i was just like you know getting comfortable with that car um if you guys don't know the story on that car i had it for about four months and the car set for three um literally uh two weeks i want to say my second week into ownership the throw out bearing gave out so i literally had no uh no clutch pedal feeling no clutch response at all on the pl the clutch was literally sitting on the floor so i went ahead and ordered that and then when i ordered that i ended up uh you know getting it in the mail and i was like all right bet you know we got the trans i got the transmission dropped out of the car um while it's out of the car let me just check my clutch and see what the you know what the clutch is looking like and sure enough i literally unbolted like three bolts three or four and the clutch just started falling out like some confetti so with that being said you know what i'm saying i had to wait an additional what what like two three months for my stage four next Grady clutch to come in and then you know what not even two to three months no it was about it was about like a month and a half to two months um that i was waiting for it to come in and then the rest of the time was really spent on doing the break-in miles so i didn't even get to mod that car like i wanted to yet alone even drive the car like i wanted to so with that being said, man, a lot of you were probably expecting me to hop into the manual life and, you know what I'm saying, get a manual Camaro. And I'm going to keep it a buck, bro. I, I was actually going to. I was looking at, like, the first gen, 6th gen. You know what I'm saying? So this is currently the, the car that I have right now is the 6.5. If you guys didn't know, it's called the 6.5 because it is the 6th gen, but it's the refresh of the 6th gen. So in 2019, Chevy came out with the new front fascia for the 6th gen, which had the Chevy bow tie in the front bumper. And I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Um, oh, I thought I heard something. Oh, God. Oh God, I thought I, whoo, I really thought I just heard something that I don't want to hear, so I'm not even going to say it into existence or none of that, but anyway, they came out with the bow tie in the front bumper, um, and I'm going to be honest with you, it was hella controversial, there was people who liked it, and there was people who didn't like it, and I'm going to be honest with y'all, obviously, the people that didn't like it outweighed the people that liked it, because in 2020, Chevy went ahead and put that Chevy bow tie back in the upper grill instead of having it in the bumper. And so I'm gonna keep it a buck. Before I saw the 2020 and saw that they moved the bow tie back up, I was looking for a six gen, regular six gen. I was comfortable with a 2018 um, low miles and I was gonna get the six speed manual because they come with the Trimic transmission if I'm not mistaken if I am you guys comment down below the actual name of the transmission But yeah, man, I was gonna do it and then I found out that the 2020 had the bow tie moved up and with the 2020 they offer the 10 speed It's like what four more gears and, and have the opportunity to have more gears than damn near anything on the road 90% of the time Hell yeah. And I know that I'm trying to be, you know what I'm saying, going to the drag strip and, you know, chasing those best lap times and, and trying to get the best, I mean, not lap times, but quarter mile times. Hell yeah, it was a no-brainer to go 10-speed, man. It was a no-brainer. 
I mean, you know what I'm saying? Plus, I don't, I don't have to deal with the headache of, oh, damn, my clutch is out. Now I got to get a new clutch, blah, blah, blah. And what, Yeah, man, I, I'm cool off that. At least not for my daily. I'll probably get another manual car for sure because save the manuals, but it won't be the daily. It'll just be like the side boo, you feel me? So with that being said, y'all, that actually wraps up all the questions that we got um, on this round of Q&A. If you guys are interested in, you know, dropping your questions and whatnot, make sure you guys, you know, let me know down in the comment section down below that you guys want to see another Q&A. And I'll definitely put that poll back up on the IG and you guys can drop your questions there and I'll make another video. But with that being said, man, that's actually going to wrap it up to, for today's video, man. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, drop a comment in the comment section, man. Let's roll that outro. Peace.